Dan Marino with us in studio. He's a partner in Anthony's Coal Fired Pizza, which recently opened here in Englewood, uh, New Jersey. Has 58 locations around the country. Dan, welcome back. Thanks. To Palos. Good guys. to have you with us. Appreciate it. Yeah. The last time you were on, and when we had Anthony on, in January. It was in Thanks. January. Yeah. I promised that I would go to Anthony's Coal Fired Pizza. Okay. When Did you Anthony go? came on in March or April, I hadn't been there yet. I have been there now. It is really, really good. Thank you. Thank you. And what I said to Anthony a few minutes ago, what impressed me even more than the food is the service. The people really do a good job. Right. No, I, and I, I think it's just the atmosphere of the people and, and how they go about what they do and the love for the product and everything. You're an equity make, partner yes, in yes. this. It was a business that began sure. down in Florida. You've had other investments, and like all investors, some have gone well and sure. some haven't. Exactly. What are the lessons between the ones that went well and the ones the that haven't? Uh, well, I think just picking good partners, I guess, is the, the main thing. I mean, for example, Anthony, I've known him for 30 years, you know, and he's been in this business and he's been a guy that, you know, you could learn to trust and see how he's worked. And I think that's really what it is, is, you know, picking good people, relationships, people you trust and being around and also, you know, having good products, whatever the product is, knowing that it'll, it'll work. And that's the one thing, you know, with uh, the coal fired pizza, it's, uh, you know, it's expanded. Like you said, we got 58 ones opening down the street here, and it's just been—it's uh, been a pleasure, kind of seeing it grow. I mean, that's the thing, and, and the passion that everybody has for our product, for the restaurant, and for Anthony and, and, and the job he has done. And it, it cooks in these coal fire ovens in yes, about four like minutes. Yeah, 800 degrees. It is so the fast. Fire gets, yeah, it yeah. is so fast. Yeah, the wings, the pizza, everything's kind of cooked in yeah, there. We just had some of the wings. They're sure. good. Yeah, they're, they're really, really good. good. You know, one takeaway from this earning season is that higher menu items are pushing more American consumers to stay at home and cook mm -hmm. at home. Is that, a, is that a threat or a risk that you're looking at in your pizza business? Yeah, you know what? I don't think so because I think people, if you, they like your product, they like what you do, uh, you know, the service, like you said, and... Uh, they're going to go out if you're if you're doing the you know doing the right thing and and uh, making good product they're going to come and, and eat your food and uh that's what's been uh you know great about our coal fire pizza it's just uh you know it's simple but it's uh like like and nothing's frozen it's all fresh that's the one thing anthony says he says uh they buy it they cook it they sell it so yeah. there's nothing frozen ever yeah. frozen and i think people see that in the product and that's why they come your out. fellow uh, nfl former nfl quarterback joe theisman uh, is yep. very uh a friend of cnbc comes on uh -huh. a lot and uh uh, I'm a Redskin fan. I got to tell you, that's I grew okay. Up around there, it was good. Nothing wrong. He's a big stock investor. You mm -hmm. you, you invest in stocks. You got to be feeling good with the market sure, at record highs. Yeah, what I kind am. of stocks yeah. do you buy? Uh, you know what? I actually I called my guy actually earlier today, and uh, uh, we have a lot of healthcare. One that I'm really proud of is that we got into Regeneron Pharmaceuticals really early, and it's really grown a lot, doing a lot there, and. Uh, I've uh, had some of the big companies like Amazon, Home Depot, Costco, a lot of those. Pretty good ones. Yeah, yeah. I would you say know, Amazon's I'm, I'm, I'm the type of guy that, you know, I'm going to buy, buy good companies and, and listen to my people that, that, that help me and advise me yeah. and hold them. You know, I'm not one of the guys that's going to The last time you were, you were on, I, I, I pointed out that on the one hand, you endorse, uh, uh, you're an equity partner in Anthony's Pizza. Yes, on the other yeah. hand, you're the Nutrisystem, Nutrisystem guy. Yeah, yeah. Have you worked that through yet? <laughs> yeah, no, I've worked it through. Since I raised uh, that? No, there's no therapy involved there. I mean, it does yeah. work. Nutrisystem works. And I've been and, you know, part pizza. Of and, yeah. and the there. pizza business works too and they go hand in hand it's just i guess you just gotta understand that there's everything you gotta have in portions and portion control so you can eat the pizza we want you to eat as much pizza as possible but also you can get the, on a neutral system anytime you want <laughs> 10 years from now 10 years from now dan marino yeah. more focused on retail business or do you think stock investing becomes a bigger part of your portfolio you know what i've uh, always tried to be pretty balanced and um i, I think uh stock investing is going to be there for me you know always 10 years from now um, we see where you got to see where it goes and where the market is and, and how it uh you know how it's going to affect you personally uh as far as the income in your life that always changes for any anybody out there you know you never know what that's going to be like so you always gotta just, just you like stay on food top of it. you like good wine you yes, have a yes. winery now in uh, yes, yes. adopted washington. state of yes, washington. washington a husky right here well, yeah. drew bledsoe has a very Sarah good drew has one too yeah double back and ours is passing time and uh has that Damon, been a profitable are, business it uh so far it's uh, it's okay you know we're, we're getting there we're selling out and uh we're making a good product there too. Passing time. Damon Heward, who was a, a backup quarterback with me in Miami, and he played uh, behind Tom Brady for a while, and he's a graduate out there. And he's of, my of, guy. Of, yeah. uh, he's a husky. He's a husky. Yeah, he's a husky. Yeah, husky. Yeah, he's like a quarterback there. Yes, exactly. And uh, we're good friends. He kind of runs right, the business. Let's talk football because that's yeah, what everybody sure. wants me to ask you about. The, the preseason starts tonight. Yes. Um, who are the best young quarterbacks in the draft class or? 
who are just getting going? Who do you uh, like? You know what? I mean, the, the two kids that were drafted high. You know, I mean, Goff. traded up. Yeah, Golf. Jared and Goff. Yeah, and Wentz. Both of those guys. You know, look. I looked at them a lot. Watched film on them, and uh, they both have the potential to be, you know, franchise quarterbacks for a long time for, you know, Philly and for the L.A. Rams, and and uh, they both look look very good. Um, and there's just a lot of great, you know, our quarterback, Ryan Tannehill for the Dolphins, I think has uh, got a bright future and he's a good player and he's going to continue. He's been saying he's got a yeah. bright future for a while, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, it's been, you know, he's just yeah. four, four years. Kayla Tausche wants to jump in. Kayla. Okay, where's, where's Kayla? She, you'll hey, hear Dan, I'm, I'm in New York right now. I wish okay. I were there on set with you guys. Um, I'm wondering if you'll watch the NFL on Twitter on Thursday nights. On Twitter? Did yeah. I watch it this Thursday night? No, they, they have a streaming deal with the NFL to carry the NFL games live. They paid a lot of money for it, and I'm wondering if that's something you would ever do or if you're, you're a TV guy. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'll do it, but I don't plan on doing it, but I'll try it if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, let's look a little bit uh, to, the, to the question of football coming back to Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Controversial move. I mean, the people in St. Louis were ticked off. But it makes sense for there to be an NFL team out there. You how do you it, think? You hit it right on. How do you think LA will will accept it? I think they're excited about it. They yep. should be. You know, and with a new stadium and what they're doing, uh, the Rams coming back out to uh, LA. I mean, you feel bad for the St. Louis people in that community because they've been so supportive of it. But uh, you know, LA is. I think it's the biggest market. You know, in the United States, and they they definitely should have a team. And uh, I think everybody out there is going to be really excited. I'm sure the people that are with the Rams and and uh, work in their organization are excited about mm -hmm. going back to LA, no doubt. One trend that we've been watching is NFL teams accepting uh, games outside of the U.S. in mm -hmm. England and in Mexico. Is that a positive step for the NFL? I think there's no, uh, yeah, it's positive just to spread the game worldwide. Uh, I play, I actually played uh, against Joe Montana and the 49ers, the Dolphins, at the first game in London back in, I think it was 1989. Mm -hmm. And uh, they've been developing that market in, you know, Europe. And uh, so I, it, it's, uh, it's something that I think they'll continue to do. The Dolphins played in London uh, the last two years in a row. We're not playing this year. And mm -hmm. it was a great experience. It sold out games. And uh, they'll, they'll continue to do Let's that. Let's talk about sure. moms, kids, concussions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does the NFL uh, have the right answers here on player safety? Is football threat football yeah. threatened by the fact that so many parents, including in my household, are concerned about their kids getting injured? And uh, you know they have every right to be concerned. And I think uh, first of all, you how know, many concussions did you have? Any? A few. Yeah, a, a few. few. A few over the years, but uh, feel pretty good about where I'm at right now. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, let's take on first. I think the NFL and Roger Goodell and what they're doing, they're, they're, they're taking steps to make the game safer. There's no doubt. And they're, they, they talk about it, and you can see it in the rules changes and all that. And, and they're doing everything they can, I think, to, to make it a safer game for the guys in the NFL. Now, as far as, you know, kids are concerned, you know, moms and dads have every right to look at their kids and say, hey, there, there could be a, you know, worried about injuries. But if you get with the right coaches and you teach it right and see what you hit, learn how to tackle, it's, it's not necessarily safe as time goes on. You can get injured. That's possible. It's always going to be there. But uh, if you do it the right way, I think it's a, it's a great game and do, the kids will be fine. Do better helmets make people safer or do they make people lead with the head? Yeah, I think it's research. You know, they're researching that right now, you know, looking at new helmets, new ways mm -hmm. to, to make the game safer. Um, that's why they changed the rules. They changed the rules. You see how, you know, the fines are huge now in the NFL if you're leading with your head and hitting, you know, hitting with your helmet and, uh, yeah. and using it as a weapon. So, right. you know, they're trying to do the best they can as far as a league is concerned All right, to Dan, when cover you, that. When you work through the therapy of the pizza versus sure. Nutra systems, come on right. back and we'll figure it out. I will. I will. Dan I will. Marina, thank, thank you, you so guys. much. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Really Glad nice to be, to be here. with you. All right. Come Kayla. down. We have a grand opening. Come I'm, down. I'm going to be there, man. You got it's good. Buddy. Anthony's coal fired pizza. Yeah. Kayla. All right, coming up next, we're breaking out your all-time high playbook. Should you be taking a change on Big Cap?